65 million years ago, a meteor went boom. In the mass extinction, most dinosaurs met their doom. An opportunity for new herbivores, evolution would resume. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. Sixty-five million years ago, in the Paleocene, elephants were something that the world had never seen. Ancestral mammals free to change, out from dinosaurs' grip, to large herbivores with longer teeth and mobile upper lip. By the late Eocene, elephants you come upon Standing two meters tall was Paleomastodon, probably a trunk. Larger brain makes a little bit wiser. Upper and lower tusks from lengthened incisors. Since Oligocene and being overhunted only 10,000 years ago, Mastodons from Africa to Eurasia and North America don't you know? Three meters tall, straight tusks, and everyone believes. The shape of their, quote, breast teeth adapted them for eating leaves. Dinotheres from Africa to Eurasia would embark. Lowered tusks curved downwards, probably for stripping bark. Stegodon spread and apparently Distance swimming is how. Reached Indonesian islands where some became the size of cows. From Africa, gomphotheres became a diverse grouping. Some lower jaws were shovel like, perhaps were good at scooping. Throughout the world, the lineage proved to be long lived. In South America became extinct when humans first arrived. Starting in the late Miocene, surviving till today, the mammoths and elephants, a family elephantidae. Mammoths died out, climate change, and human hunting linked. Only three species of elephant left, let's hope they don't become extinct. Magnificent elephants are threatened both by illegal poaching and by human population growth. This Cenozoic lineage faces its final doom. Last chance to talk about the elephant in the room.